So, debt free screens or 20 cent iced coffee? Which one is better? If you're familiar with the personal finance sphere, you know who I'm talking about. On one hand, we have Dave Ramsey. On the other, we have Graham Stephan. Now, Dave Ramsey is a boomer, and Graham Stephan is a millennial money guru. And which one's better? That's a great question, and hopefully we'll be able to answer that by the end of this video. So stay tuned. So if you know anything about Dave Ramsey, you know that he's all about getting out of debt and building wealth that way. He has a plan that has seven baby steps. The first is getting a small $1,000 emergency fund, then paying off every single debt that you owe with the exception of the house. It's a pretty good plan and many people who have followed it have been successful. He does not believe in using credit cards whatsoever. He thinks that they'll make you spend more, they'll make you go into debt, and in many cases that is true. However, it's also possible to actually get some cash back if you use credit cards responsibly, but for some people, you should probably stay away from them if you will spend more and go into debt with them. Ramsey doesn't even believe in going into debt for anything other than a primary home mortgage. If you want to invest in real estate, no debt. Pay cash. He uses the old Bible verse, the borrower is the servant to the lender. And that is actually the case. If you owe money to someone, you have to pay it back. You're in effect working for them before you're working for yourself. And that is no good. So on that account, Ramsey is spot on. On the other hand, Graham Stephan says credit cards can be really great. You can use them for cash back rewards. These cash back rewards can range from 1% to 2% of your purchase price. And on some purchases, you can even get up to 5% or 10% back on every dollar that you spend. That's a great return on your investment and you can make money. However, Ramsey's right. There is some research that indicates that you'll actually spend quite a bit more if you use a credit card. However, if you are frugal, like Graham Stephan, and you analyze every single purchase and try to avoid charging any more than you would spend if you were using cash, credit card rewards can actually benefit you quite a bit. So that brings up the question, which plan is better? I guarantee you, if you follow Dave Ramsey's baby steps to the T, you will retire very, very wealthy. You'll have six or seven figures in your bank account as long as you're not planning on retiring in the next five years. However, it will require you to save up six months of an emergency fund and then put 15% of your money into your investments for retirement pay off your house early. It may not be the most efficient way to make a lot of money, but it will guaranteed help you make money, save money, and invest money, and therefore build your wealth over time. Graham Stephan's method could get you wealth a little bit more rapidly. It can be a little more efficient, right? You're getting into houses with leverage and you're able to get rent from those houses and build your wealth as a result of that. After you pay those houses off with rent from other people, you're using other people's money to pay off those houses within a 20 or 30 year period. And once you do a cash out refinance and you get a little bit of cash flow, you can buy another house and another house and another house. It's leverage and it can lead to more stress, but you can get ahead that way. So when it comes down to it, there's no one size fits all to personal finance. Dave Ramsey's method will get you rich. Graham Stephan's can get you rich, but it will come with a lot more risk and you could wind up holding the bag if people, you know, don't pay their rent on a regular basis and you have to evict them. Also, if the value of the property goes down, that could wind up hurting you as well. So, who do I listen to? I listen to both of them. I find a lot of value from both Dave Ramsey and Graham Stephan. I lean more to the Dave Ramsey school of things. I don't like to have debt. I'm trying to pay off my house. I really hate debt, okay? I don't like the stress that could come with heavily leveraging my money. However, I would say this, that you can get value from listening to both and both of them have great ideas that could help you get rich. So I hope this has been helpful for you, and also I would encourage you to hit the like button because it's been so beneficial to you. Also hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it, the notification bell, so that you'll know when the next video comes online. 
Also, if you go down to the description below, there's a link to Weeble, and you can get several free shares of stock just by signing up and depositing $100. It's no cost to you. It's free money, so I encourage you to sign up for it. So until next time, I want to thank you again for watching. This has been Chris Hack's Life. Have a great day.